So the moment you turn on, you got MPN or PNP, but in order to change into leaders, we're gonna hold the mode and the up button together for about three seconds. You can see there in holding that, it says unit leaders. If I press up, I can choose gallons. We'll press up again and keep it in liters. If I tap the mode button, it allows me to enter through that structure. Now I've got NPN or PNP. I can press up to select those. I'm gonna okay. choose PNP, tap the mode button. Channel two, we're gonna use this as an input. We can use it as an analog as well. In this case, we're gonna use it as an input to reset our flow meter. Now we choose the direction of the flow, either from left to right or from right to left. In this case, we're going from left to right. So that's the way we're going. And then we choose the size of the piping. In this case, it's gonna be three quarter inch. This model does both half inch and three quarter. I'm gonna choose the half inch. Now I see end, now I can go to the main home structure. First thing I, I see here is stability. This is important in seeing how well how well the sensor's reading the flow. You can see here right now, I've got two out of four bars. That's because the pipe's not full. Once I see that pipe go full, I should see that drop up to four out of four. Okay. That's important in seeing how well I see the flow. So now if I press and hold the mode button, output one, we're gonna make this a total output, right? Because no. we want that to output on a total. No, we're gonna do pulses. You're gonna do a I'm pulse. I'm gonna try pulses. Ah, okay, so let's go with a pulse. Output one's gonna be pulse. Input, we don't need to give it a reset because you're just going to use the pulse in this case. So we're not concerned about using the input then. Right. So in this case, I can keep going. The speed, this is where we change our repeatability. Okay. I'm going to put this at 2.5 so you can see a 2.5 second response time. We can always increase the response time. Does that make sense? Yep. I'm going to keep on scrolling. This is the total. How do I want my total to read on the screen? As in 10.1 gallons or just 10? Or I can have it read every... 10 gallons or every 100 gallons on the on the screen. We're doing liters, right? So it'll be 21, all of this is in liters. Correct, so in your case, you're using the pulse output, so I'm gonna have it in 0.1. Perfect. Now I can go to end. I'm gonna go into the full menu structure so I can see the full. This is the resolution I'm gonna have is in 0.1. Average display is how often I want the display to average out, and that's just to smoothen out your numbers on the display. If you're using this for instantaneous flow rather than what you're using it for. Now your cut flow rate, this is important. This is in regards to what do I want it to ignore below? 0.5 liters per minute of flow rate or below, I wanna read a zero. This is so you don't get any false triggers if the, if the liquid maybe moves slightly back and forth. Does that make sense? Yeah, like that one, just put it as slow as possible. We don't, want to put it, we don't want to put it to zero because sometimes I can miscount if I'm on zero. So I normally put it to 0.1 or 0.2. 0.1. Okay. So now the LED, this means when I go above a certain flow rate, I turn green. If I go below, I turn this color. So meaning when I see flow, this is going to go green. Economy, this is if I want to reduce the amount of power consumption this thing can do. I'm going to leave that off. Test output, I can test the output if I want to test it as well. So I can mimic this output if I've got nothing flowing through it to make sure that your PLC reading it correctly. Lock, I can create a lock on the sensor as well if I ever want to lock the display or create a passcode to it so that they can't change it. And then again, here's where I choose my direction, the size of the piping. And then here's any adjustments. So this is where I'm gonna do my calibration if I want to, but you're gonna do it in the system, correct? You're gonna do it in your delaying of your yes. of your pump. This is where I could do my adjustment if I wanted to do that internally instead. I'm gonna leave that off and then end. That's okay. all you'll have to do.